I'm in the mood for a smoothie this morning and it's kind of sunny out today. So I'm going to do something that feels a little bit like summer and we're going to do peaches and pineapple chunks. Now I always do frozen fruit. I just feel like when I'm going to do a smoothie bowl or a smoothie, I don't know, to me you don't have to throw the ice in and that makes it a whole lot easier. So I have a half a cup of pineapple and a half a cup of sliced peaches in here, of course, all unsweetened. And so for me, I will not count that as points because I would eat that amount of fruit. If I put, say, two cups in there, then I would count that as one point over for every serving, if that makes sense. So for me on frozen fruit, I consider a serving one half cup. So I would just do the math in that way. So what I've got additionally is a little bit of splash of hot water because these are frozen solid. And then I have a quarter cup of the Quest Vanilla Protein Shake. I use Premier, whatever I have on hand that's really low points, that's what I use. And then we're just gonna blend that up in the Magic Bullet. Okay, let me show you guys one of my little tricks. So you know sometimes when you do your magic bullet how you have to keep taking it out and shaking the heck out of it because the fruit is frozen solid on the bottom. So what I do is I just turn on some really hot water. I'm going to lean in so hopefully you can hear me. I just turn on some really hot water and I run it over the bottom of the cup here. And what ends up happening is the fruit will just drop down to the bottom. And there it goes. See, that took about, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds, and you can see now you have that little air pocket you need, and you can throw it right back on your magic bullet. Okay, we're done. Look at this. I could almost flip that. Let me get you better light so you can see it a little better. Oh, is that good? You can see that it is super thick. This is like a meal for me. So see, we got it all out of the bottom. Totally, that little hack works like a charm. So we got it all out of the bottom here. It's thick as can be, holding its own weight. I'm gonna dump this in a bowl and eat this with, with a spoon. But did you guys ever, do you remember back in the day when Dairy Queen used to do pineapple shakes? That is what this reminds me of. Just going to mention this because I'm on WW like you guys. I've been on WW for over two years. So I am not a WW basher. I never have been. I never will be because I think it's a really good lifestyle diet plan. Think through this for a minute with me, you guys. If you think about the algorithm for WW, unless you're on purple, if you're on purple, different ball game. But if you think about the algorithm, if you're on blue or green, you're lowering the carbs, you guys. That is where we get hit with points. People will say, why is bread so high? Why are, you know, my fiber one this or that? Or I don't know. I don't know if fiber one is a good example. But why are some of these sweet treats so high in carbs? It is the sugar. If you guys look, remember the algorithm for smart points that Weight Watchers uses, you get hit the hardest for sugar. So if you are a person that lowers, let's just talk through it. If you like, you think about your normal diet and you're a person that says, well, I'm not low carb, but I really watch my pasta, bread, rice, and potatoes. Okay. If <laughs> you're, you're watching the carbs, okay. Let me just share that with you. Anyway, this is not a video about whether you should eat low carb or you shouldn't, but I just want to remind you guys of that, that Think about what the algorithm is. And even on purple, which I've been on purple and I did fine on purple, um, you still are kind of pushed towards eating complex carbs, not the stuff that's going to turn into instant sugar and has a high um, blood sugar impact. We call it the um, glycemic index, GI impact on the food. And that's what we want to avoid is that um, insulin spike. Okay, I'm sure you guys are over that topic. I'm going to go eat this.